secondary. August 10th, 2022. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning and I have been tasked with going to McDonald's to get breakfast for everybody. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Thank you so much. Have a good one. You probably saw the opening clip to this video and you're like, what the hell? This is in Greece. Well, you would be right. I am back in Houston, Texas, or outside of Houston, for those of you who know where I actually live. Anyway, I kind of wanted to vlog my whole Greece trip that I went on with my family. It was a blast, a trip of a lifetime, but you know, I didn't want to ruin it by walking around with my phone or a camera all day vlogging, like every single walking moment, waking moment, what's the word, huh? go. So I took a lot of cool pictures and videos of things that I thought were cool and figured I'd kind of just tell you all the story of what happened. I'm going to try to do this while I eat. Okay, that's too messy. I don't think it was gonna work. So I guess I should preface all this by saying, obviously we went to Greece, but Greece has a lot of places you can go and see. You have the Ionian Sea and the Aegean Sea with mainland Greece in the middle. And there's hundreds of different islands to go see. Beautiful water, beautiful beaches, mountains, whatever you want. Great restaurants, blah, blah, blah. One of the most famous and most sought after islands is called Santorini. You guys have probably all seen the pictures somewhere, the beautiful blue churches with the water in the background. So that's the island we flew to first. We planned on going island hopping, but we just ended up staying there the whole time until we ended our trip in Athens. And it was pretty crazy. So Santorini is kind of like a really romantic, like honeymoon island is what it's really known for. But we went on a family vacation. The day I'm actually filming this video back home is National Boyfriend Day. Thank you for reminding me every other girl on my Instagram feed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Anyway, so we flew from Houston to Atlanta, Georgia, and then from Atlanta we had an 11 hour flight all the way to Athens, Greece, where we then had a connecting flight to Santorini. An 11 hour flight was cool. The flight attendants gave me a mimosa and two champagnes. So that was fun. I slept a lot. I wonder why. But anyway, then we finally arrived in Santorini, went to our hotel, and it was the most beautiful view I have ever seen. Check this out. So now that y'all have seen the view, you know, you can only imagine how like mesmerized we were with the balcony and everything you guys saw in the photos. Something that I feel like doesn't occur to most people when you think of a place like Greece is that the service there is incredible. Every waiter, every taxi driver, every hotel employee, they're all so nice and friendly and helpful. It's a ridiculously different experience than if you go on a vacation somewhere in the state. The people are just amazing. And one of those people was the room service guy at the first hotel that I just showed that came up to our balcony about four times that night. I had a great conversation with him about soccer, football, for those of you who call it that. He was an Olympiakos fan, which is a Greek team. And he got to know us very well that night because we ordered four bottles of wine. <laughs> One of which we didn't even finish. But yeah, we didn't land until late in the afternoon in Santorini that first day. So that's pretty much what we did for our night. Hung out on the balcony, enjoyed the view, had some wine, had a great conversation, and then hit the hay for the night. I gotta eat this McMuffin before it gets cold, bro. I'll catch y'all in a minute. And here we are. I changed clothes, changed location. Uh, I don't know if this lighting is good or not. Maybe it's bad. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Anyway, so the next morning, my brother and I hiked up this giant rock called Skaros Rock. It was near our hotel that we were at. And it has like this really cool castle ruins on it. Going back to like the 1200s, I think, there was this castle that was there for like 600 years and was never conquered and they used it to protect the island from pirates. It has this really cool history. But anyway, now it's just a giant rock because it's been destroyed by earthquakes and stuff over time. I was jet lagged, I was tired, I was hungover from the night I just talked about. Yet at 6.30 in the morning, I was up and ready to go. Not really, I felt like total shit. But so my brother and I went on this little adventure. All the hotels, so they have a gorgeous view of the sunset and stuff, are up high on the cliffside. So we had to walk all the way down the cliffside and it was like these really steep and crazy just like paths between all these boutique hotels all the way down closer to the water where then you could get on the trail to go up to the rock. 
But yeah, so we finally made it to the bottom. The view was nuts. So we're making our way down this path, like up towards this rock, where then we presumed you could go towards the top. And we hear this quiet voice from up above us that was like, are you coming up here? And we looked around for a second and we were like, what? And it was this girl who peeked out her head from behind a rock, just like that. <laughs> she was like, I'm really scared. Like, will you guys come up here with me? She was from Morocco. She was really cool. But she was still in, like her pajamas and like sandals or whatever. And I was like, this is not, you are not dressed appropriately for a morning hike. It wasn't easy. I felt bad because she said she wanted to hike all the way up to the top and her friend didn't wake up and was still in the hotel room asleep, blah, blah, blah. But she wanted to go all the way to the tippy top of this thing, which I didn't even realize was possible at the time. So I basically climb up ahead and I'm trying to help her like vertically rock climb basically. And I was like, what the, what the hell do I do? What if she falls? But then we got about halfway up and realized it just wasn't possible. I mean, it probably is if you're some goddamn Spider-Man hybrid human, which we clearly were not. So we just stopped there and enjoyed the view. Made it to the rock thing. Look at that view. What's up, bro? Say hi. <laughs> and we're afraid we were gonna fall down onto the rocks and die. I took some pictures of her up there. She did a really cool pose, which I then copied for my Instagram photo. And she took pictures of my brother and I and stuff. And then boom, what do you know? We were both on our merry way. And when we got back to the hotel, we had the most amazing breakfast waiting for us on the balcony. It was heavenly, bro. This is our view. This is our breakfast. I'm a little late. He's already been chowing down. I got my protein. <laughs> Is it good? Hell oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Pancakes with moose. Oh my god. And then after that hike, I felt a lot better once I got some food in me. Then after that, we checked out of the hotel and went to a different one on a different part of the island, one that was right on the beach. It was beautiful. And that was while we were awaiting the arrival of my mom's boyfriend, Mike, from England. The rest of the day, we kind of just hung out on the beach. The water was cold, but it was amazing. Like the deepest blue I've ever seen. Had my Alpha, which is Greek beer. It was just chilling, got a little bit of a tan. At least I think so. Probably not, really. I'm still white as hell. But yeah, that was that day. It was a beautiful hotel, right on the beach. Uh, but that day was pretty easy going. Future Simon here once again, because I always mess up while I'm editing. And to include a montage from this day, so enjoy. Then the next day we went to another hotel. Family's weird, three hotels in three days. But we showed up a little early, a little bit before check-in time. So while we were waiting for our room to get ready, we met some cool people out by the pool. The two people dancing in the intro clip to this video were from Tunisia, but they spoke English. They were super interesting to talk to. And so yeah, we pretty much just hung out by the pool until we decided to go out and rent a boat and go around the caldera. The caldera is like the underwater volcano that exploded and literally created like the whole island and the crater filled in with water and like it was so cool so yeah we rented a boat mike was actually a navigator on like big ships for and he's got a license to drive any boat in the world practically so for sure he had to drive the boat for a period and uh scared the living hell out of me when he went really fast it's captain mike it was a bumpy ride if you sat in the front of the boat and a really wet ride if you sat in the back. I experienced both, not a fun time. I couldn't feel my head afterwards. I say not a fun time though. It was, it was great, my head just hurt. Anyway, cue the boat montage.
at this point in the video, I've changed locations again. I apologize. It was just a little too sunny out there for me. So I'm back in the yard now. But anyway, the boat trip was crazy. We got to swim like right next to the volcano and everything. It was nuts. And then the next day we were headed to Ia. Ia is the most famous village on the island of Santorini, known for the sunsets, the churches, the food, the shops. It's got a bit of everything. It was really, really beautiful. There was this cat that was just kind of chilling there that I took pictures of their cats all over the island, like feral cats. But yeah, uh, we took some really good photos there. Uh, beautiful sunsets, ate dinner at a really good restaurant. That was our big night out on the island, I guess. We had a bottle of Santorini wine. It came in this really beautiful blue glass bottle. It was so cool. But yeah, Ia is definitely the place to go for the view and the stuff to do on the island, I guess. And after we went to Ia, the rest of our time in Santorini was pretty much just us chilling at the hotel, enjoying the view, chilling in the lounges. There was a poolside bar there with a certain bartender of which I may or may not have talked to a certain person's Twitch chat about. Auntie, I miss you. I'll come back one day. One of those final nights, my brother and I hiked up this really steep trail up into town and went to a takeout place and got some kebabs and some euros and really good traditional Greek food. It was great. There were these cave hotels that you'll see what I mean. I'll put a picture up on screen. That, those were really cool to walk by. The food was great when we got back. And then I went to sleep, hung out the rest of the day. And then Mike headed back to England as we headed to Athens to finish our trip. Another location change, what do you know? But yeah, Athens has the Acropolis, which has the Parthenon, the Temple of Athena, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Some of the most beautiful and historically significant buildings in the world. I'll show y'all a little montage of that right now. I'm gonna call the video there, man, because I realized editing this for hours and after going through hours of footage and photos from the trip, I am tired and this video is getting really long, so I hope you enjoyed. The longer this little project of mine went along, the more I realized it's less like a vlog and more of just like a slideshow plus a little bit of commentary that no one cares about. But if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And last but not least, enjoy this wonderful picture from the Acropolis Museum of a anatomical model of a penis from 2000 years ago. I feel bad for every woman in ancient Greece. Anyway, peace.